Hello. We are now at the second day of our observing of Venus from here, on the top of Mauna Kea, uh, this uh, uh, installations of the uh, uh, telescope of a 3.6-meter telescope, the canada france wide telescope. And the weather uh, conditions are good. We are preparing for the observing uh, right now. Um, the size of Venus on the screen is uh, uh, compatible with a high spatial resolution, so we can uh, measure the winds with a very good spatial resolution and the time resolution in the, the cloud tops. At the moment, it is uh, 8.30, 9 in the morning. We are uh, so uh, finalizing the preparation for this uh, uh, fiber optics spectrograph connected to the uh, underground instruments to the uh, Cassiocoran bonnet uh, through a fiber which is attached to the bottom of the telescope you can see here in the background. And uh, soon uh, the door will open, uh, we'll be able to uh, uh, look at uh, Venus through uh, this uh, shutter which is currently under maintenance uh, in the uh, early morning hours of the workday here in Hawaii. Uh, the observing run will last uh, for a total of five days and uh, uh, we can observe Venus uh, when it is uh, sufficiently high in the atmosphere, uh, in the above the horizons, of course. And uh, uh, so, at the moment, we are, we are preparing uh, the telescope uh, and uh, the spectrograph, uh, checking for the pointing sequences, and uh, we'll soon be opening the dome doors. And uh, I hope this uh, gives you a sense of what we are doing here. And uh, this is an important step of uh, Venus uh, observations to get be able to be able to acquire those uh, uh, dynamical data and also in other telescopes uh, the uh, chemical data uh, on the atmosphere of Venus uh, using those large ground-based instruments uh, from the top of Mauna Kea uh, volcano uh, in uh, Hawaii. Uh, this is a Thomas Wiedemann of the uh, Eurovenus Consortium.